tomorrow morning's coffee break concert finds hand clap and foot stomp and gut piano playing Jimmy Lay. performer Jimmy Lake gets down live tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock on this week's WMMS Coffee Break Concert. Live Wednesday morning at 11 o'clock on this week's WMMS Coffee Break Concert. a long, long time, and I took the doctor's orders, I'm feeling fine, it's to cause this heartburn, now and again, but when it all is up, it's still my only friend, I can feel something pushing me along, I can hear something saying, singing your song, sometimes I'm gonna catch him, step on his head, cause he gets me so down, no, I was dead, but I really could. Sure enough, Boogie Woogie on the radio with Jimmy Lay on a coffee break this morning. Jimmy, how are you? Thanks for coming back. Not bad, Bill. Not bad. Uh, Jimmy, by the way, is playing everything, man. I'm I'm doing nothing. Jimmy's got a board there. There's a drum. He's got harps. He's got kazoos and pianos in the <laughs> works. You uh, you can go ahead and just rock on Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a tune by uh, Clarence Gatemouth Brown. <clears throat> Here at our first annual meeting of the Clarence Gatemouth Brown Appreciation <laughs> Society... <laughs> Yes, it's called You Got Money.
got the whole studio down here rocking like crazy. Hope you cats are doing the same at home. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah. like uh, like all them old blues cats. Jimmy, how old are you? Too old. Too old. Too, too old. old. Don't like nobody meddling in his business, so I don't know exactly what to say to you, man. What are you doing? What am I doing? <laughs> uh, at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing, Bill. <laughs> Are you uh, are you gonna work like this, or are you gonna work with the band? Oh uh, well, uh, we're in the middle of doing some recording right now. So I'm working with a band. Who? Uh, who's in the band? Who's the band? Who's the band? The band is Blues Idiom, world famous recording stars. <laughs> we're working on uh, Lay's Greatest Hits right now, Volume Four. <laughs> it should be out in about 11 years. First three sold up at Greg's Drug Store. Right. You can find cents. it for 49 cents at uh, <laughs> Kmart. Volume two and three. Sure looks good to see somebody sweat like that, man. You know, two songs. You'll never make it to I have. Songs. I know that. <laughs> well, I'm going to make it boogie, Jimmy. Boogie. Okay. <laughs> the Big Bill tune. Key to the highway. All right. on Big Bill Broomsey's tune, Key to the Highway. Derek and the Dominoes recorded that. You probably are familiar with that version. But that's, that's the one, though. Jimmy and I go back a long time, man. We, went, we, we, used, to have a, we used to have a record store, you know, and we, we never did get to uh, tend to the business of, of selling records too much. All that ragged equipment in the back room? <laughs> we went in the back room and just jammed a while. Although Jimmy is trying to make us believe that he's 84 years old. He's really uh, about 23, I would guess. About, about 47. About, about 23. 
Been playing blues for a long time. Sweating and carrying on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yes? Yes, yes. 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 I think I'll do an Otis Rush tune now, Bill. Okay. Slow one. Uh, it's called Checking on My Baby. Not to be confused with the Sunny Boy tune. <clears throat> Check on my baby
when I needed her most. I didn't know where she was. Jimmy Lay uh, performing live on our WMMS Coffee Break this morning. We are, we are only 20 minutes into the show, and your shirt already looks like you've been walking through a no, thunderstorm. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to do it, man? Good question. That's a good How much question. writing have you been doing, Jimmy? Uh, the last few months, quite a bit. When we were, we were working around town for, oh, we were working around town last wintertime. And uh, wasn't doing a whole lot then except, you know, just working. But uh, since we started on, on the album, we've just been doing a lot of writing, a lot of rehearsing, uh, this and that, this and that, working on a, a single approach, you know, just in case. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we've been pretty busy lately, been pretty busy. Are you performing still now? Uh, not, in, not in Cleveland, not locally, no. no. So if we wanted to see you, there's no way? No to way, do. no way, not, not now, possibly around Christmas time. Depends, uh, you know, with, with all the negotiations that are being negotiated or completed, uh, then maybe we'd be in business, but not right now. Is it hard to mix pure blues with the record business? Yeah, it's practically impossible. It's uh, next to impossible, in fact. Uh, I was playing a lot of traditional stuff, you know, about six, seven years ago, you know, for $5 a night. And uh, record-wise, it's just no, they don't want to hear it. Uh, unless you're one of the originals, you know, unless you're a Muddy Waters or a Howlin' Wolf, where you can, you know, do it and make a living, you know. But uh, other than a handful of the old timers, you might as well forget it with traditional blues. What keeps you going? What keeps you into it? Lack of sense, <laughs> I guess. When I when I should have got out of it a long time ago, while I still have my sanity left. No, I don't know. But, uh, you know, you do something long enough and. Uh, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. You know. That's what else can I, I can't do anything else. You know, this just is Jimmy Lady Blues Man, huh? or whatever, Garbage Man. You or ever anything, play you know? any boogie woogie piano? You remember that old time nineteen? You know that. Kind yeah, of but not at eleven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you mean all that? You mean uh, and all that? Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> well, do what you want to do. Okay. Okay, I guess it's time for this. Louisiana, and you don't have any money, and you, you're looking for a way to get out of town. You just go on down to the edge of State Street. And there you're in the freight yards. And you might want to catch your train. This song is about a friend of mine named David. We were, we had left New Orleans trying to get up to Knoxville, Tennessee. So we just decided to make a big fatal mistake and we're gonna stay in Shreveport, Louisiana. But uh, David, like a fool, he decided he's gonna go after this one girl we saw walking down State Street. Who just happened to be the sheriff's daughter. So he uh, did a kind of few obscene gestures and uh, things like that. So we had to make a quick exit. So I, I wrote this little song. Dedicated to my friend Dave. Stop. 
Listening to uh, Jimmy Lay performing live at WMMS in Cleveland in a coffee break concert. That's Jimmy Lay doing all of that stuff. He's like a one man band here. He's got a kazoo and a, an old board on the floor. He's his, his own rhythm section playing the piano and doing all the singing. These, uh, these hours are usually filled with people from Cleveland, Cleveland talent, and just try to get it out. You know what I mean? Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy's a little exhausted already. We're only halfway through this, but we'll make it. We'll make it. <laughs> I forget who we have next week. I don't even know. Next week we may even have a problem. We might have to do just records all for that hour. This is sort of fun. What you doing, man? Figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. This table looks like a blues table already. All, you know, coffee soup, cups. Soup, speaking of, speaking of coffee cups. <laughs> Look at all these coffee cups. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll get you some more. I really would like to thank you, Bill, for having me on here today. Well, appreciate me, it. We like it. Appreciate it. Hot as it is. 
on air condition as it is, folks in Radio Land. Well, this is low WMMS, budget. Low, low budget, budget radio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on you, Jimmy. Okay. Uh, this will be the single. This is this will be out so uh, long about September or mid October. I can't tell you what it's going to be on. That is not ethical at the moment, but uh, mid September, early October, with band, with rhythm accompaniment, blues singer with rhythm accompaniment. This is called "I Think Your Time Has Come." moments in Cleveland went radio, Joyce, that we've been waiting on. Jimmy Lay is in here playing the blues, and then in walks one of the most respected men around the world who happens to live in Cleveland. Robert Jr. Lockwood is here. And uh, maybe he we can... Too. Maybe, got his guitar, Maybe we can talk him into taking a seat and playing a little bit. Take Robert, come, come on, on over, Take a man. seat. This is somebody I wish that I or could call gonna, daddy. Or you're going to stand in anger, <laughs> He's <laughs> going. See, he's leaving. <laughs> he he don't want no part of this. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move the microphone around to you, Robert. Oh, but how long have you uh, have you all known each other? Long? Yeah. A couple of years, just a couple of years. How'd you get How'd you get off work? <laughs> Robert. 
colleague Jenny Lockwood was a guest on the, on the Coffee Break show about two months ago. It was maybe one of the finest hours we've had. This is, a, this is really going to be a trip. Oh, we're going to have him back. Terrific. Terrific. We're just going to take a, a minute to get, get Papa Robert here. So, uh, Papa Robert. Papa Robert. Uh -oh. Pick that up, okay, Joe? Is that you ready? Papa Robert, it's from Chitlin Grits, Arkansas. <laughs> what do you want to do, Bob? Oh, no, thanks. I didn't come prepared. But... You want to do one of yours? Take a little off with me. So dog on guitar, so so dog on bass. Joe, can you pick up that guitar, all right? Pick up that guitar, right? Can you pick it up? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, Nacho. Mm -hmm. Come on. Take a little walk with me. Come on, baby. Take it and walk with me. The same old place where we long to be. Come on. Take a little walk with me. Come on, baby. Take a little walk with me. The same old place, Memphis, Tennessee. Early one morning, just about half past three, you done something that you really worried me. Come on, baby, take it and walk with me. Come on, take it and walk with me. Come on, baby, take it and walk with me. To the same old place where we long. Walk out on the old avenue. I've got something for you to do. Come on, baby. Take it and walk with me. To the same old place where we long to be. Until every time you see me, you want to walk some more. Come on, take it and walk with me. In the same old place where we long to be.
Cats got the microphone, so you just take over. Jimmy Lay and Robert Jr. Lockwood. Can you hear this? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear it. Another one, Bobby? Do another one. No, don't let me do that another one. Yeah, do another one. You Please can do one song. I'll help you do something. We'll do uh, uh, Yeah, we'll do that. 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 Yeah, we'll do
Yeah, on a coffee break live this morning on WMMS. We had a surprise visit from um, blues man extraordinaire, yeah, Robert Jr. Lockwood. Yeah, we need some coffee for Robert. Maybe we can get that. Yeah. Robert Jr. Lockwood is recorded with every big name in, that you have ever heard of in blues. And sure is nice to have him down here. Thanks for coming down, Robert. You're very welcome, sir. Was it, what, are, do you all respect each other? I don't know if he respects me. I respect him. <laughs> I think he, I don't know. I know what he thinks. You better, about. young fella. You better. Oh uh, yeah, you're a good. You're a good man. Too. Nobody's business. We're you're nobody's good, business. How did that go? You know that one? Uh, you go ahead. Ain't you, yeah, you you go ahead and do it. All right. And let me sit here and listen to you.
Jimmy Lay hollering and screaming and playing the piano on WMMS. Robert Jr. Lockwood on acoustic guitar. I ain't wasting no time, friends. We got six more minutes. Get it on. <laughs> Go on and play, man. If I see Aptly, and this is a good one to do right now, I suppose. We got six minutes of just about it, huh? Yeah. Let's do a little Cleveland Blues. I don't even know how the melody go, but go ahead. <laughs> you recognize this. Dedicate this to the late Big Maceo. <laughs>
Is that true? Yeah. Well, can I have my coffee now? I know ain't no sugar in it. Yes, sugar is. Thanks for coming down, Robert. Is there any sugar in this coffee? No. You want sugar? Oh, man. No sugar in mine either. Yes, there is. Y'all ain't got no sugar? <laughs> well, I, ain't no, sugar I ain't no coffee drinker, though. Thanks for huh? I ain't no coffee drinker. Oh, you want you have to be sweet. <laughs> Mr. 
downtown Don't want to take no one's advice Someone's advice. Oh, Mr. Downside. He's learning to take someone's advice. And he never lets no one woman.
This is the blues. And the victim is the man.
say that back again. That's the name of that's funny but true. <laughs>